I really like my Marlin 1894 CS. It's a little light carbine, 38.8, 357 Magnum. I use it for cowboy action shooting and I have a little bit of uh, things to make that a little more comfortable. I've got a, a uh, boot on the back, it's roughed out, and some hand guard here, and uh, put some mechanical parts in it that helps in cowboy action shooting. One is the uh, Phantom Trigger. It's a one piece straight. It makes a lot better feel to it. I've smoothed up some of the action. I've included the one piece firing pin. It makes it a little more reliable on the uh, feed and such. As much as I love this little gun, it runs fine. Except occasionally it'll uh, pinch one crossways in the feed. I've worked on it off and on for a couple of years now trying to get it to stop doing that. Now if you run it at a normal speed, run it at a sane speed, it won't do it. But if you try to pull out and out, uh, push it to the limit, it uh, will sometimes throw one sideways and it doesn't cause too much trouble it's just as a, it's a delay in the, in the whole process of trying to throw rounds down downstream. They've made several uh, changes in these over the years. This is a 1984 model. Now, the newer models have a different bolt face and different uh, style of, of uh, extractor. It may be hard to notice. I maybe have to get a, a uh, close-up of this. But the hole is a little lower on center than on this one. This one is pretty much on center with the firing pin. And the shape of the nose is much different. It has a slope facet here now if I put this gun, this bolt, in this gun, it'll run fine. So what I'm thinking is, I need to change this out. But what I, this is an extractor, I think it's from this era gun. But it's great and uh, no facets on it. I put this in this bolt and it doesn't help the situation any. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to replace this extractor with a sure claw extractor. It's a one piece, doesn't have an extra piece wedged into it like this. I got this ejector from F&D Gunsmithing in, in St. Charles. I think he also markets under uh, Sure Hit Sights. I think Slick McClade also handles this extractor. It's got a little bit of a bend down to it. So I'm going to try to replace this one with this one and see how it works. Now I have here, excuse me, now the way this comes out is there's a pin that's driven through from top to bottom that goes through this hole. And I have an exclusive tool here to use to knock that pin out. just happens to work very well and seems to be sturdy enough. It's uh, actually a Lee uh, decapping pin and they're relatively inexpensive and most every uh, gun shop will have these in stock if they've got any reloading tools. They're sold as a replacement for about two bucks. It happens to be about the right size and then with the strength of the body here uh, it makes it pretty easy to drive these out. Mm -hmm. 
Another advantage is it drives it just far enough that it stays in. And you want to clean this hole out. I've already cleaned it out. Uh, cleaned it out uh, at an earlier date, so I know it's pretty clean. That went in a little bit too far. That looks about right. I kind of feel around in there to get it lined up. I'm going to get that below, flush or below. Looks it. I may have to take that out and polish it any or whatever, but right now I'm just going to put it back in the gun and uh, we'll take it out and try it. I have the little carbine loaded up with tin out on my little private range this afternoon. I might see if we can get this to cycle. I'll have to set the camera up at a little different angle and uh, see if we can catch this on camera. I think that went pretty good. Oh yeah, that's a vast improvement. Miss Hittem and Gunsmith Frank come out and choose our range whenever it's convenient for them. Uh, they're always welcome guests and helpful. But Gunsmith Frank, last shooting match we had, reviewed the problem I had with the uh, bolt on the Marlin and suggested I try the Sureclaw extractor. And I ordered one the next week. Looks like it's going to solve my problem. Shannon and Frank Casilla also run F&D Gunsmithing in St. Charles, Missouri. They uh, do a full line of gunsmithing work and uh, numerous other things. And, but uh, they also provide a lot of custom parts that we use in our cowboy action shooting. And they're always active in, in supporting the cowboy action shooter.